Okay, today we are going to talk about writing a eulogy, and this information is coming from www.eulogyspeeches.net. When writing a eulogy, uh, let's give you a little background first. Writing and giving a eulogy is a praiseworthy action and a very important contribution to a memorial service. This contribution will be remembered by friends and family for a very long time, so feel honored about your participation in this difficult event. Writing the eulogy feels like an overwhelming task. I understand that, especially in your current emotional state. You may have difficulty concentrating or maintaining your composure during the process. This is completely normal. Stop and take a few moments for yourself and remember that you can write and deliver a great eulogy. All you have to do is follow the instructions and the remainder of this guideline, and you, will ha and you will give a very touching eulogy. Right now, try and keep a positive attitude. Remember that everybody at the service will be behind you completely. Do not be concerned about giving the perfect eulogy. Do what you can, given the short time frame and f fragility of, the, of, the, uh, of uh, your well-being. Again, this is an emotionally challenging time for you. Nobody expects you to have great stage presence or be an amazing orator. Just be yourself. Take your time and convey your feelings for, your, for the loss of a, a, of a loved one. The most touching eulogies convey your emotions and your feelings. They are not a summary of the person's life story, and that's very important to remember. All right, first things first. Before writing the eulogy, it is important to overcome your feelings of fear. You have many confusing questions running through your mind. What do I say? Will people like it? How long will it be? Where do I even begin? These questions will be answered for you in this guide. The important thing for you to do is put your fears aside and break everything down into small pieces. Remember that you eat the elephant in many small portions, not just one bite. So nothing great is done in one sitting. Writing a eulogy, the eulogy tasks. Here are your tasks for writing the perfect eulogy. Find inspirations for ideas and write down your thoughts and feelings. Second, you want to outline the eulogy. Third, you want to write a draft. Four, you want to edit the draft. Five, you want to practice your eulogy. And when I say practice, I mean practice out loud in front of a mirror. Get very, very comfortable with it. It's going to be hard when you practice. It's going to bring out a lot of emotion. But the more you practice, the easier it's going to be for you to deliver in front of the whole funeral uh, service. So practice out loud. Practice in a mirror. Get very comfortable. And then the last step, obviously, is give the eulogy. Find inspirations for ideas. Let's break this down. You want to find inspirations for ideas and write down your thoughts and feelings. You can do it on 3x5 cards. You can do it on a, just a regular 8.5 uh, you know, by 11 piece of paper. But if you're having trouble deciding what to even mention in your eulogy, find inspiration from outside yourself. There are many different ways to do this. You can flip through old photo albums or watch old home videos. You can look at scrapbooks or any other items that can help you conjure up old memories, stories, or feelings about your loved one. Ask friends and family members for their stories and fond memories. Remember that the burden of the eulogy is not yours completely. It's perfectly fine to say, I was chatting with Aunt Barb, and she was telling me about the time Kevin, one summer, shaved his head with his youngest son. That just reminded me of how many spontaneous and, and how, uh, how silly he was around his children. Sometimes someone had many negative qualities. It's fine to touch upon these things. However, say them in a courteous tone and remember that there is an audience there as well. You're the best judge of what can be said. So remember, just be honest and everyone will appreciate the eulogy. The outline. You need to outline the eulogy and decide your tone. Although some people can write and speak eloquently off the top of their heads, most of us cannot. Therefore, use outlines and notes. It will make things much easier. Outlines help for many reasons. Number one, it will help you focus and get your attention towards moving forward in the proper steps. Number two, it will, give, it will help give organization to your eulogy and it will help it flow better. Number three, it just makes the writing process easier. And fourth, an outline will help you break down the writing into smaller pieces so you don't forget important details. 